There are three main things that separate us from God. Dr. Stanley takes time to highlight these areas. Are any of these an issue in your life? There are three barriers. So you might want to jot these down. There are three barriers. And here's the first one. It is pride. We don't pray because I can handle it. We don't ask him, I'll work it out. It's pride. The reason people don't get on their knees, except their physical things sometimes, is pride. How, how can you be too prideful to get on your knees to holy, righteous, sovereign God? Every breath you have is a gift from him. Somebody says, I don't need to get on my knees. No, you don't. You don't need to honor God. You don't need to reverence God, but you get what comes with that. It is pride who keep, that keeps us off our knees. Pride that keeps us in sin. In other words, we'd rather have a relationship with somebody than God. We'd rather have this, that, him, her, and the other than God. It's pride. The second thing is rebellion. Sin. As long as there's sin in their life, there's no intimacy with God. When people say, well, I pray, but, but nothing happens. I pray, but God isn't answering me. I pray, and mm -hmm -hmm, then you need to look at yourself and ask yourself the question, God isn't the problem, you're the problem. There is no intimacy where there is rebellion. Now, think about this. You have to think about your own relationships. Can you have an intimate relationship with a husband or wife who's just rebellious against you? No, you cannot. You can't have an intimate relationship with your children if they're in rebellion in their life. And then the last one is real simple. If it's pride, if it's rebellion, and then if you're in a hurry. If you're in a hurry, you won't develop an intimate relationship with God. It takes time. Time to read His Word and meditate upon it. Think about it. Ask questions. God, what are you saying to me? Lord, how does this apply to my life? Is this a warning? Is this something that I, I need to look at in my life? Oh, Lord, thank you for this wonderful promise. Time to read. Time to talk to him. Time to listen to him. Cannot tell you how very important that is. And you see, here's what will happen. The more you listen, the more you're going to hear. And the more you hear, the more excited you're going to be. And the more excited you're going to be, the more time you want to give to listen to him. Now, if you're in love with somebody, you like listening. And you see, the more you love him, the more you're going to want to listen. He's willing to tell you far more than you expect. Because you see, knowing that God gave his son for me, I know he'll give me all the information and everything else I need. And that's what Paul meant in Romans when he said, having given us his son, Jesus Christ, will he withhold from us any good thing? And the answer is no. So with that in mind, would you say that you have an intimate relationship with God? Or would you have to say, I missed it. You say, when do I start now? Think about this. All of us, one of these days, no matter where we are and whatever our age, our heart's going to beat for the last time. And we're going to meet the Father. Is He going to be a stranger to you? Or do you want to have the kind of intimate relationship while you're here in this life, whereby your life can impact the people around you. Not because of what you're doing, but because of what He, living within you, is able to do through you. And that is my prayer for you. Don't be satisfied with less in your relationship to Him than intimacy, which is the will and purpose and plan of God for you. 
And Father, how grateful we are when we think about you, perfect, holy, awesome God, having a personal, intimate relationship with sinners like us. But because the blood of your Son has washed us clean and sanctified us unto yourself, you're willing to do it. And I pray for every person who hears this message, create within them this awesome, holy dissatisfaction with where they are and a hunger to know you in a deeper way than ever before. In Jesus' name, amen.